Hello, it's Rage from Spiritual and Angelic Guidance. I'm here to do a reading for Leo, and this will be mid to end February. Um, if you've seen my readings before, welcome back. Thanks for the support. If you haven't, welcome to my page. I hope it resonates. If it does, please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. Um, it's a general reading, so it's not going to suit every single person out there. Just be aware of that. Take whatever resonates, leave whatever doesn't. Um, don't forget also, time is fluid and energy is vice versa. So for these readings, I'll be taking a card from this deck for the energy of the read. I'll also be taking a card from the Romance Angels and the Wisdom of the Oracle. Then I'll be doing a few tarot and some Oracle to finish off. Okay, so can I have a card for Leo, please? The Spiritual Teacher. So that's the same as the Hermit card. There are great rewards in spending time alone. Use those moments of solitude to focus on love and ways in which you might give to those around you. Shine your light as an example for others to follow. Seek out a spiritual mentor of your own if your life feels unfulfilled right now. So the Hermit card is all about doing some introspection and soul searching. Just being alone, getting some inner clarity, some guidance, maybe do some meditation, spend time in nature, all those sort of things. Um, at the bottom of the deck, you've got the helper of action. So that's like the knight of uh, wands in reverse. Um, so maybe you have some scattered energy, which is why you need to kind of take some time to just be. Um, you might have you might have had some frustration, some arguments, jealousy, suspicion, all those sort of you know negative, low vibing emotions. So yeah, take some time in solitude. So I feel like you're going to have to wait a little while for getting something maybe regarding soulmate, something, some sort of love situation that's going to take a bit of time. You need to maybe focus on your self-love because I feel like you're, uh, you, I don't know what I was, I was thinking of many things all at the same time. I feel like you definitely need to work, focus on your self-worth. Um, you may not have seen some deception or been open to seeing deception in your life, but I feel like that's going to be over. But yeah, you've definitely got to, um, you will be getting someone come in as a soulmate, but it is going to just take some time. Uh, the one that fell out is playfulness and this is in reverse. So maybe you need to do something fun for your inner child. Maybe you need to do something, just get out, do something you enjoy, um, you know, do like yes you've got to be by yourself but there's no reason why you can't do something fun for yourself become a bit more playful maybe you're not open to kind of being playful with other people but you can still be playful on your own as i said also while you're feeling very low vibe uh feelings and emotions and things you're probably not in a good place to kind of attract better anyway can we pass leo by the book and deep knowing so maybe you need to trust your intuition there's something that you maybe are not trusting your intuition about um with the deep knowing card so you know sometimes you just feel like there, you know, you can't trust a person or you can't, you know, you get these feelings of just knowing, you know, that you know, that you know something. Um, it could be one of those situations. So yeah, maybe there's somebody who's entered your life or somebody will enter your life, uh, pay attention. Um, so yeah, trust your heart. I mean, as I said, you've got so many card, but maybe, yeah, you'll know, you'll know that you'll know if this person is your person. And you'll also know that you know that you know if somebody's being deceitful or somebody is not for your high school. But I feel like, yeah, you'll know that. Okay. So the one that fell out is called By the Book. Um, and so By the Book is all about conformity. And 
you know, laws and customs and, you know, all those sort of things. It's all about karma, the law of attraction, you know. So if you're getting along with other people, make sure you understand and respect who they are based on how what they've been through, um, their culture, their experiences, their environment, their parents, their family, you know, all those things. And vice versa, like it needs to, they need to understand your why you are, how what, why you are, the way you are. Um, so yeah, find that middle ground so that the relationship can flourish. But you've also got to honor the person being who they are as an individual and vice versa. So play things by the book. Don't try to break the rules, pressure others to conform them to be the way you want them to be or the way you want them to do things. Um, and yeah, I mean, that should, that should, work with making your relationship even more deepened but do things by the book do things the right way you know i feel like if people are doing the things the right way then it would generally work out okay leo okay Card. I don't even have to ask. Card, Leo. So I should really say them as I'm going. So um, you've got the Magician card, which is all about taking action, turning your visions into reality, manifesting what you want, focus more on what you definitely want. You are going to have hope again with the Star card. It's all about having hope and faith again and knowing you know miracles can happen, wish upon a star, that kind of situation it's all about miracles clarity hope faith having a purpose and i feel like you've got hope again from a situation where you went through some sort of emotional loss um you're probably dwelling on the negative and you're feeling abandoned unloved you're you know you're regretting whatever you've been through um but yeah tell me more Oop, not that many cards Can I have one card for Leo, please? Just one card for Leo. Okay, you got two. Um, you need to take back your own power in a situation and be a leader in your own life. Um, somebody could have been very dishonest. Um, they could have... They, they, there's no accountability taken either for their behaviour. Um... They could have been in a third party situation. Um, they weren't offering a firm foundation, but for some reason you really didn't want to just let it go. You didn't want to move on. Um, it can also be, yeah, you feel like there's unfinished business. But the authority card is also um, the emperor. So, I mean, maybe you have kids with this person. Maybe he's a dad. Um, doesn't have to be male you know when we talk about this sort of stuff it could it's the energy but yeah for some of you it could have been a dad a parent of some kind um it could be maybe you need to be a bit more strategic like a bit of a strategic planner maybe um i mean you deserve respect right you deserve respect from a situation that where they were dishonest one more okay but you need to release whatever worries you've been through. You need to, you've probably gone through that inner turmoil, deep seat of fears. You knew that there were some sort of secrets going on. It is going to take like resilience and courage and strength and persistence and putting up your boundaries to get through this situation. But look at it like, you know, I mean, this once again, this is, this is about taking back your own power and having some clarity about a situation. Um, but yeah, you're definitely wanting some sort of closure, so therefore you don't want to move on from a third-party situation that wasn't giving you your firm foundation, as I said. So the two here, I mean, you've got the suffering in silence, which is what I said, in the turmoil, deep seat of fears, you need to release your worry. And you've got the triumph card, which is the same as the chariot card. So, you know, it is going to take action and determination and willpower things like that to make a change but you can get there it can also mean you may travel so you may may move um 
that you are going to yeah, move on from a situation. So let's ask. Tell me about the... Um, I wonder why only one came out for that, that deck. But anyway, this reading. But anyway. Uh, so Magician. Tell me more about the Magician. Yeah, you don't want to manifest a situation and because you're all up in your head. So with, with, with manifestation, things you think about, you're putting out to the universe, right? So the more you feel this depression and anxiety and lack of sleep and regretting the past and your mind's going 24-7 and you're like, oh my God, he did this. Oh, why did he do this? Why did she do this? Why did... Because of that, you're just attracting more of that more of the crap somebody who's like a devil energy someone who's got addictions and obsessions and whatever this is but i feel like you're you're attracting more of that because that's what you're putting out there so tell me about the hope card yeah i feel like you have learned from this situation i feel like you've widened your knowledge you've got some and with regards to this whole these both of these cards like you've gone through the emotional loss and i feel like you've definitely widened your knowledge about this and now maybe you're focusing on your employment but for a lot of times this card means to me that you're widening your knowledge and generally it's about this situation it doesn't have to be about career but it's about wine or, or or whatever it's about widening your knowledge in general and i feel like you have if you haven't, you will. And it's about your love life. It's about somebody who you were in a committed relationship with. Um, yeah. And I mean, maybe it's made you feel very confused. And I said you're going through the emotional loss. But yeah, they were very dishonest. And now you need to take back your own power in this situation. Tell me about that. You got the hermit in reverse so you're definitely feeling like you just need to withdraw and isolate from a situation um, and maybe you have after that you might have also been turning to a lot of tarot and cards and psychics of whatever kind um, I feel like you may be doing that but also you, you feel like you're disconnected from your intuition so you withdraw because you and, and maybe you're not in communication with this person anymore but I feel like you, um, there's probably secrets you didn't know about. I mean, maybe now you know about them, but I feel like there were definitely secrets in this situation, which is probably why they were being dishonest. But you've got the four of wands. You are going to move on. You are going to leave the past behind. And maybe that's you taking back your own power is you saying, I'm done. You know? And here you are releasing the worry um, from somebody who was a narcissist. Um, yeah. Tell me more. Yeah, you're moving on. You're walking away. You're looking for something better. You're done. You put the cups behind you. You like see ya. So yeah, I feel like as I said, you are. You are. You know, it's going to take action and determination and you know willpower to be successful. But you will be. You are going to walk away. Um, and yeah, you need to just watch how you talk about yourself, how you think about yourself. Um, because, oh yeah, some of you also, they may want to reconcile, so just be aware of that. I would not be wanting to go there, because, look, it's going to end the same way. And probably because they they know that you were like, you know, crying over spilled milk, they didn't care. You know, this is you, for five of cups, this is you going through the emotional pain, same card, it's like emotional loss, you went through that. But you know what? This person was, they, yeah, they were just doing the wrong thing. And probably, I mean, both of these are about doing wrong things. This is like play a card. This is about them doing something strategic, um, manipulating you, you know, as well. And then they turn to not talking to you. So you're probably going through some sort of nostalgia, but you just need to focus on becoming, with your strength, becoming more self-sufficient and independent, which is good. All right, let's do some oracle click. What are we at? 1441. Oh, my goodness. That's like a mirror number. Google angel number 1441. I'm really curious as to what that one means, actually. Okay. 
You can have a card for Leo, please. All my cards are just falling over. Okay, so. You've got community. Because uh, I need to find that book. So it's about you getting out of your comfort zone. So is this one. Getting out of your comfort zone. You need to get out into the world. You need to get out and do some... Help some people. Do some something good with your life. You know, maybe do some charity work. Um, Kazumi. Um, but yeah, maybe you need to get out of your comfort zone and go and help people do something. And you've also got Kasumi. Now, this is an Ascended Master. And I never remember what he means, so I'm going to look in the book. So, it's all about transformation. Um, it's about clarity, having clarity. It's He's never been one to mince words. He's very straight talking. So he's saying that you need to be have some clear thinking and take action. And, you know, we talked, um, did there something come up saying about procrastinating? I can't remember, or maybe I just heard that in my head before, but um, it's all about don't procrastinate and take action. Because, you know, if you ignore the problem, it's not just going to go away. Problems don't do that, you know. So you need to face the situation and think objectively, honestly. Um, but whatever you're going through, he's all about your life circumstances are your own responsibility. No one's coming to save you. If you want to get out of something, get out of something. So um, you, the angels and spirit guides and all those things, they angels, they can only help you if you want to commit to helping yourself. You know, there's that saying, like I always say, I don't want to help people if they're not going to help themselves. You need to show me that you want help by you starting that, you making some sort of effort. If you can make an effort, I'll willingly help you. If you're just going to sit down and be like, I'm not making a change. Sorry, I'm not helping you. So they're the same. It's all about having compassion, taking action, asking for help if you need. Um, yeah, so it's about having the courage, compassion and clarity to get um for whatever it is you've been putting off it's to deal with those things so yeah that's what kasumi means which is probably really really good for what you need right now it's definitely about clarity i feel like you may even have known this person wasn't doing the right thing But it's all about your environment as well. Maybe you need to spend time in nature. It's about your living environment. It's about people putting, oh look, you need time out. But it's all about putting an effort, people putting an effort. You've got to, it's about give and take. It's not just take, 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 take. There's effort that's got to be made. But I feel like spend some time in nature, get out there. Get out of your comfort zone. Go and do things you enjoy. Like a lot of these cards have nature on them. Leo. What values do you and this other person or people you end up with, what do they have? Like you need to make sure you've both got the same core values and that they are actually, you know, wanting to be exclusive and, you know, be that kind of person for you. Um, you've also got... Mr. or Mrs. Fix-It, you know, you just need to focus on you. Stop trying to fix everybody else and just heal yourself. You've also got the abandonment, ish, abandonment card. Um, so, yeah, I feel like you... Maybe, maybe this person ghosted you or... You feel like you've got abandonment issues compared to what you've been through in the past. I don't know. But check out what dating patterns you've got. You know, are you attracting people that you only go for looks? Because that's probably not going to end well. You know, you need to do, change whatever patterns you have. Are you picking only people, I'm just going to use a stupid example, but are you picking people, I only go for people with brown hair. They don't have brown hair. Can't date them. And you know what? You might meet someone with black or blonde who's amazing or red or whatever. Freaking purple with pink polka dots. I don't give a crap. Whatever it is, you might meet somebody who is not what you're expecting. 
but because you've got these certain patterns, you know, maybe you see the red signs of red signals, but you ignore them in every relationship you've ever had. Or maybe you go in and you're too trusting and you don't do things by the book. I don't know. I don't know what, you, what it is for you. You know what I mean? Different people, different situations. I'm just putting, you know, examples out there. Maybe you, maybe you go into relationships where they don't put in all the effort. They just sit around and wait for you to put in all the effort. And they're taking, taking, taking. And then you wonder why it didn't work. Just a thought. So yeah, be aware of whatever dating patterns are happening. Um, maybe it comes back to any outdated thinking that you've got as well about, you know, oh, I must find somebody who, I don't know, what have you been conditioned to think? I can't keep coming up with examples. <laughs> I'm really crap at it. Um, but maybe whatever you're putting out there, you're going to get back, right? Like attracts like. So if you are putting out or you're a certain person and you're not, if you're dishonest, you're going to get dishonest people. If you're an honest person, you're going to get honesty. So yeah, 21, 21, just, yeah. I feel like there's a lot of numbers happening for you guys. But you need to learn from a situation as well. Um, I think that one went over that one. Anyway, that is what I have for you, Leo. I hope it resonates. If it does, please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. And I will catch you with the next reading. Thanks for watching. Bye.